Alright, so let's talk about Watt's Law. So where you might be familiar with Watt's is amplifiers. Uh, you've probably heard of uh, somebody talking about they have a thousand watt amplifier and uh, or or their car speakers are a thousand watt uh, subwoofers and another thing you might see is uh, light bulbs you got your 120 volt uh, 60 watt light bulbs so watts can be calculated in a circuit using watts law and P equals power which is measured in watts E equals volts I equals current so this is watts law power equals volts times current volts equals power divided by current and current equals power divided by volts so where you would use watts law in a circuit so let's say we got a 14 volt 1.12 watt light bulb which is this right here and we want to know how much current draw this light bulb is going to have and what size fuse we need to put in line with it. So we want to calculate the uh, the amount of current which is I equals P divided by E. So our power is 1.12 divided by E which is volts 14. Let's get out of calculators. Alright so 1.12 divided by 14 equals 0 0.08 so I have actually have this circuit set up right here and there are measuring volts right now so we're at 14.09 trying to get it closer to 14 there we go so we're at 14.02 Five now so let's see what our actual current draw is to see if it matches what uh, we calculated which is 80 milliamps alright so you want to disconnect the meter from the circuit before you go measuring any current or moving any of the leads I'm going to go ahead and break this circuit and put the meter in series with the light bulb. So I'm going to be measuring milliamps. Alright, so we're measuring 80.5 milliamps and our uh, calculations was 80 milliamps. So that's pretty much right on the money. All right, so another application is let's say you got a hundred ohm resistor in your circuit, and you know it's going to have five five milliamps flowing through it, and you need to know what what watt resistor you need to put in there. So resistors come in different sizes and the bigger the resistor the more power it can dissipate so you have quarter watt resistors uh, half watt one watt um, some resistors tell you right on on them what they are so this is a this is a an 8 ohm 10 watt resistor and so you need to know what watt resistor you need to put in there and Um, you can use Ohm's law to figure the voltage drop across this, taking your 5 milliamps times your 100 ohms. Alright, so let's calculate volts. So that would be 5 milliamps, which is 0 0.005 amps, times 100 ohms equals, so that resistor is going to have 0.5 volts dropping across it. So to get the power, you would take your volts times your current draw. So that would be 
0.5 volts times your 0 0.005 amps which isn't even a quarter watt resistor that you would need so you need a very small resistor it's just a 2.5 milliwatt um, dissipation across that resistor so so we know we got 2.5 milliwatts being dissipated across that uh, 100 ohm resistor so we know we need to get a higher than 2.5 milliwatt resistor um, so here's another circuit and uh, we got a speaker here that is an 8 ohm speaker and it's rated at 100 watts RMS um, RMS is a term for AC voltage but I'll get into that when I go into when I talk about uh, AC voltage later on when you're designing the circuit you want to know what the maximum volts RMS is that you can apply to the speaker we don't have an equation up here in Watts Law that shows uh, how to get volts or current out of this. The equation would be E equals square root of P times R. So this is basically combining Ohm's Law and Watts Law to be able to come up with uh, with volts. Alright, so you take uh, the square root of your 100 watts times your 8 ohms so that equals 28.28 volts RMS that you can supply to that speaker max. If you want to know the maximum current that that uh, speaker can handle, uh, the equation for that is I equals the square root of P divided by R. So the maximum current that that uh, speaker can draw at 100 watts is square root of P divided by R, so it would be 100 divided by 8, so it would be a maximum of 3.5 um, amps going through that speaker when it's running at its maximum watts RMS. So in this circuit up here, to calculate the the amount of power that that resistor was dissipating, I used Ohm's law to calculate the voltage drop by taking the amps times the resistance, and then taking the voltage drop times the current drop. But you don't have to use those two separate equations. You can just use one. So you would use P equals I squared times R. So just to show you that that actually works so the current draw is 5 milliamps which is 0 0.005 squared times 100 ohms equals yep, 0 0.0025 so 2.5 milliwatts so the you don't have to use two different equations to get to it there is uh, there is that way to combine Ohm's law and Watts law so I'll show you um, the relationship between Ohm's law and Watts law and all the equations that you can use to calculate the different values alright so I went ahead and broke down everything um, with uh, the relationship between between Ohm's law and Watt's law in order to get uh, your different current voltage resistance power values um, 
So here's how you figure up voltage and here's how you figure up current and resistance and power.